this method is so easy that even when you're literally just starting out in drawing, you'll be able to pull this off. First and foremost, let's start with the head. Start with the circle and then draw the guideline for the eye around one third from the bottom of the circle. Draw the bridge of the nose and then draw a diagonal line which serves as a guide on where we'll put the tips of the mouth and chin. Lastly, we'll draw the jawline. I've discussed this comprehensively in my previous video about drawing heads in basic angles. So if you want to watch that, click the eye icon on the top of the screen. After we've drawn the head, we're gonna draw an S curve like this from this part of the head. This will be the spine of the character. Now, now, the length of the spine depends on the build of your character. So if you want a tall or beefy character, draw the line longer. Take note that the first half of the S is where we'll place the ribs. Depending on the posture you like your character to be in, you can curve this line a bit forward or backward. For example, if you want the character to stand up straight, then just do a slight S curve. If you want the character to be hunching over, draw the spine curving forward at the top and just a slight curve at the bottom. After that, let's draw the neck. Draw the neck from the bottom of the circle rather than the jaw. This makes sense since the neck is connected to the skull rather than the jaw. To draw the ribs, we're just gonna draw a slanted oval shape following the upper curve of the spine we just drew. We're drawing the pelvis next. Measure the height of the ribs and apply the same measurement from the bottom of the ribs downwards and this will be where the crotch will be. Draw a rounded D shape for the pelvis. The straight side is front and the back side is the back of the bump. The front part of the ribs and pelvis are aligned with each other. By the way, these are the same measurements we've discussed in the previous video where we drew the front and 3 fourth view. If you want to draw the body in those angles check the links in the description below after this let's measure out the height of the head up to the pelvis and apply that measurement from the crotch area downwards now we can draw the legs draw a circle by the bottom part of the pelvis and this will be our guide to where we'll draw the thighs align this slightly by the front so that the bum is defined draw a guideline at the middle and draw a smaller circle above it this will be the knees then draw two lines to connect these two circles together for the thighs next draw a smaller circle above the bottom line for the ankles. Draw more lines to connect the two circles. Make sure that the back part is curving like this as that's how our calves look like. Then draw the triangles for the foot. I'm not really bothering with the other legs since it's hidden in this position. Let's move on to the arms. You can draw this in a separate layer if you're doing digital but it's not necessary. If you have any questions so far, don't forget to leave a comment below and I will answer it ASAP. Draw a straight horizontal line from the point where the front of the neck is tangent with the oval. At the center of this horizontal line draw a circle for the shoulder then draw another circle by the bottom part of the rib area connect these two circles for the upper arm draw another circle by the pelvis for the wrist and draw the lower arm by drawing two lines connecting the two circles for the hands let's draw a trapezoid shape for the palms and then some sticks for the fingers. If you're drawing a girl, we're gonna have to draw the breast. So from the chest area, we're gonna expand it by drawing a sharp curve line like this. Now this curve right here is platter since it's attached to the body. Now it's just a matter of adding clothing and extra details on this. So start by clicking this video right here to learn how to do that. 